If you've used Go at all, you've certainly noticed that some functions can take a variable number of arguments. For example, the ubiquitous print line function, you can send in as many arguments as you please and run this in the terminal. And of course, we can send even more in. These type of functions are known as variadic functions in Go and other languages, and they're pretty easy to implement. The syntax is as follows. First func, then the name of your function. Then when you're defining your variadic parameter, you give it a name, then dot dot dot, and then the type of the elements, or rather the arguments that will be accepted. Now in the body of your function, params is going to be available to you as a slice. Let's prove to ourselves that it's a slice by printing out its type. We can use percent %t to get the string format of the variable's type. And let's also print out the variable's value. And call our variadic function in the main function. And now this will take any number of parameters that we send to it. Test it on the right. Variadic. And sure enough, params is a slice of ints. And the elements within our slice are equal to the arguments that we pass to variadic. It's worth pointing out that it's never actually necessary to do functions in a variadic way. You could change your logic around to do it in a non-variadic manner. In my function non-variadic, it's just going to take a slice of ints. And in our main function, we could just wrap these parameters into a slice. and run this on the right. And sure enough, we've mimicked our variadic function in a non-variadic manner.